Welcome to English Lecture Notes. We came back with next five important English literature questions and detailed discussion. If you missed the previous session of questions, check out the video. I have left the link in description box. First question: The Book of Duchess by Chaucer is a dash a allegory, b lyrical story, c narrative, d none of the above. Right answer is option A allegory. Allegory is a figure of speech in which abstract ideas and principles are described in terms of characters, figures, and events. It can be employed in prose and poetry to tell a story. As a literary device, an allegory is a metaphor in which a character Place an event is used to deliver a broader message about real world issues and occurrences. It usually uses as a literary devices or as rhetorical devices. The word allegory comes from Latin in legoria. The origins of allegory can be traced at least back to Homer. In classical literature, two of the best known allegories are the cave in Plato's Republic. Other early allegories are found in the Hebrew Bible. The story of the apple falling onto Isaac Newton's head is another famous modern allegory. Allegorical poetry has two meanings, a literal meaning and a symbolic meaning. The objective of its use is to teach some kind of a moral lesson. Although an allegory uses symbols, it is different from symbolism. An allegory is a complete narrative. That involves characters and events that stand for an abstract idea or event. Pilgrim's Progress by John Bunyan is a spiritual allegory about a spiritual journey. The Book of the Duchess, also known as the Date of Blanche, is the earliest of Chaucer's major poems. I think you get an idea about allegory and the book of Duchess. Now let's move on to next question. To which of the following poetic genres does In Memoriam belong? Option A is elegy, B sonnet, C epic, D eclogue. Right answer is option A elegy. You know what is an elegy? It is a poem of serious reflection, usually a lament for the dead. In Memoriam is a poem by the British poet Alfred Lord Tennyson. It was published in 1850. It is a requiem for the poet's beloved and Cambridge friend Arthur Henry Hallam. Third question is. What is the name of R. K. Narayan's last novel? A. Talkative Man B. The World of Nagraj C. Grandmother's Tale D. The Painter of Signs Right answer is option C. Grandmother's Tale Now let's discuss who is R. K. Narayan. His full name is Rashipuram Krishnaswami Ayar Narayanaswami. Commonly known as R. K. Narayan, an Indian writer known for his work set in the fictional South Indian town of Malgudi. He was a leading author of early Indian literature in English. Along with Mulk Raj Anand and Raja Rao, they are the trios in Indian English literature. Grandmother's Tale is a novella by R. K. Narayan. The book is about Narayan's great-grandmother who is forced to travel far and wide in search of her husband. Eleven sixteenths. Fourth question is, in what country were most of Ibsen's plays set? A. Holland B. Sweden C. Finland D. Norway Right answer is Norway. Henrik Johan Ibsen was a Norwegian playwright and theatre director. As one of the founders of modernism in theatre, Ibsen is often referred to as the father of realism. Fifth 
Fifth question is, who among the boys in Goldings? Lord of the Flies is associated with Christ. A. Peggy. B. Ralph. C. Jack. D. Simon. Right answer is Simon. Sir William Gerald Golding was a British novelist, playwright, and poet. Best known for his debut novel Lord of the Flies, he would go on to publish another 12 volumes of fiction in his lifetime. Lord of the Flies is a 1954 novel by Nobel Prize winning British author William Golding. The book focuses on a group of British boys stranded on an uninhabited island and their disastrous attempt to govern themselves. Thank you for watching. We will meet again with another set of 5 important English literature questions.